Welcome back to Fallout 1.5 Resurrection. So, we've uh, cleared out the top level of the casino, killing, uh, I think his name was Rodriguez. Came to the bottom level and killed Sanchez, who is now just a bloody stain on the ground. Um, now it's time to get out of the pickle that I'm in, which is escaping the bottom floor. So, I think I found the way to do it. Unfortunately, it's not a way I like very much, but I think I'm gonna have to. So here's the thing, it turns out that you can actually pass time in the basement. Which means I can heal up in the basement. Which is good. Because I'm going to need to heal up, I have absolutely no stim packs left or anything. Um, before I started this recording, I was thinking what I would probably do is go into like the bathrooms and sort of try to um, use the fact that I'm in a separate room as a way to protect me against most people and just kind of try to burst fire them with the assault rifle as they come in and just pray that they don't get a crit on me and if they didn't then I'd probably be okay but then I remembered oh right I don't really have any ammo for the assault rifle it's got one shot and I have no other ammo for it which means I'm basically gonna have to use the shotgun which isn't all that good so I don't think that would work using just the shotgun so I think I'm going to have to, unfortunately, once again, utilize the go to a different instance and heal up trick. I really don't like doing that, but I literally don't think there's any other way for me to get out of this. So let's do it. It's probably going to take a while, but we're getting out of this place. The one th uh, problem, though, with passing time in the basement is that I did promise, or well, I'm not sure if I promised, but um, I agreed to go with the Frederick Stream Caravan to Albuquerque to help protect it. And I'm pretty sure he said something like, I can wait for you for a day max before the caravan leaves. So, assuming that's true, it's going to be long gone before I get back there. But hopefully that was just hot air and he'll actually just wait for me. Let's hope they didn't actually script that in. Okay. I don't know what's better, burst fire or just like an aimed shot to the eyes. I'm going to try just a Aim shot to the eyes. Wow, that's a really low chance to hit. Um, hold on. What's my chance with a sniper rifle again? If I remember right, it's pretty terrible. Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. It's not terrible, not great, but I'll take it. And I just hit carry. I think I'm gonna have to shoot and then go heal. Ooh, nice! I don't know how I shot out his midsection when I shot him in the eyes, but I'll take it. Perhaps the um, bullet went down his throat and then exploded. Didn't realize I bought exploding redirecting ammo, but huh. Oh, I don't have enough action points. Fuck. Just please don't kill me. There's a lot of people that can shoot us. Three? Fuck! Okay, well, this is gonna work. Yeah, sniper rifle's definitely better than the shotgun here. Oh, for the love of God, I'm just gonna reload until that hits. <laughs> First I shoot carry, and then I shoot the floor. No, don't move! I'm an idiot. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, it was a crit. Nice. Oh, they're running away. Nice. As much as I want to shoot Gabrielle, are they going to stim up and come back? Because if they're not, then I can just ignore them and just go for the people that are actually going to shoot us. Uh, let's do that. No, I didn't aim! Bah! Bleh! 18 damage. Terrible. Very bad. Not good. 
Mmm. I think that was a crit or something. Oh god. Fuck me. Alright, two turns aren't working out. I think I'll have to just do one turn and then go heal. Like I said before, even though this is like kind of grindy and... Well, not kind of grindy, it's definitely grindy. For some reason, I kind of enjoy this. I'm like getting myself using all sorts of weird methods. Like getting myself out of a extremely bad situation. Just hit, please. For the love of God. Whoa! 120 damage! That is incredible. Oh my god, I didn't even know it was possible to one-shot kill someone like that. Okay. Don't have enough action points. Hmm, I'm not too hurt. I can probably shoot again. How many action points do you need to use the stairs? Four isn't enough? Damn. I thought I'd, I thought I'd be able to use it, so that might have been a bad idea. Please don't kill me. Okay, we're good. Ooh, carry. God damn. Critically hit for 84 points with no armor, knocking the combatant to the ground. Well, that's one way to say exploding their entire upper body. Do, 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 do. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna sing you the take a while song. That was the end of it. Now we just have to pass the rest of the time in silence. I really am surprised the healing rate is so slow. I wonder if there's something that affects the healing rate. Like one of the skills, perhaps? First aid, or maybe endurance, or who knows. Um, I just got an error message. I think my game just crashed. The instruction at blah blah blah, reference memory at blah blah blah, the memory cannot be read from. Click OK to terminate the application. And... And it just crashed. It's okay, folks. That's just the way the wasteland is. It's full of unreadable memory errors. <laughs> Twice in a row! Wow. Okay. Just hope it doesn't happen again when I come out of the basement. Should I just go save it right now? I'm just gonna go save it. Let me just see if it's like a reproducible error. Is it always gonna happen when I heal up and come out of the basement? Because if it is, then that's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make a save game here. Also, but in a different slot in case it is a reproducible error. I don't want to overwrite my good save. Please don't crash. Okay, we're good. Mmm, that was a crit. 64 points of damage, nice. I do so love the freaked out and running around with your hands up animation for children and um, citizens, like um, citizens, that's not the right word. Bystanders. Yeah, the bystanders and the children freak out animation with their hands up in the air is just so amazing. I love it. Damn. 
Damn! Did I just get really unlucky last time I tried to use the sniper rifle? Because I don't remember getting this many one-hit kills. No, carry, I'm sorry. Alright, should probably heal up next turn. Maybe. And again, maybe we're gonna nah, let's not take the risk. Oh, so now it's healing up carry. That's fine. She doesn't have to be at max. What is she at? Wounded. That's fine. Oh, I should have saved it. Oh well. Hold on, how are they looking? Severely wounded. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot him in the head. Did they just pick up a weapon? Alright, this should definitely be the last time I need to heal. Alright, that wasn't actually too bad. Yeah, the sniper rifle is better than I thought. Still surprised it seems to be so inaccurate. Let's wait till morning. I don't want it to be dark. This isn't going well. Well, this is going well. Guess I'll go heal again. Alright, now there's a couple more left on the ground floor, but I don't think I need to fight them. They're in a totally different room. Yeah, I think I could just leave them alone. But just in case, I'll heal up. Plus, I just want to be healed anyway, even if I don't fight him. Do 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 do. The music in the Fallout series is so nostalgic to me. Wait until morning. Okay, um, so I think, yeah, it looks like they just, the bodies disappear after waiting so much time, but they kind of just leave all their stuff on the ground, which is not very convenient. In fact, the rest of the stuff is like hidden behind the blood, almost. I can't seem to really click it. There, I clicked on one pixel of it, I think. Cool. Well, that sucks. 
Oh, what? Went into combat just to run away. Okay. Yeah, I might not be able to loot most of the stuff. I'm not sure. It literally seems to be hidden by the blood decals. Okay, picked up most of the stuff. There's still a little bit left behind, but I can't seem to loot any of it. I've tried really hard trying to find the single pixel that might allow me to get it, but it doesn't look like it's happening. Oh, hold on. I saw bottle caps. <gasps> how many bottle caps? I'll never know. They got added to the stack and it didn't tell me how many I got. Anyway, alright, so I got all the weapons and kind of all the biggest stuff. And also I looted this behind the uh, the bar, this shelf behind the bar, and I had a lot of really good drugs and stuff. I'm not going to use them, of course, but uh, I could probably sell them for a lot. Bunch of cigarettes, some psycho, stuff like that. Got a bunch of weapons, gave some of them to carry. And the coolest thing I got is this. H and K C A W S. Uh, C A W S short for close assault. <clears throat> close assault weapon system. Shotgun is a useful tool for close range combat. The bullpup layout gives the weapon a short, easily handleable uh, length, while still retaining enough barrel length for its high velocity shells. So it sounds incredible. However, it says minimum strength sixth, uh, six, and I have five. Which doesn't sound good. Um, th the weird thing is, though, I can still equip it. So I don't know what that means. Maybe it's not going to let me shoot it, or perhaps it's going to give me a huge penalty to my accuracy? Either way, I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go try it on... Oh. Oh, right, just you. I'm going to go try it on... Who just tried to shoot? Oh. The guards around the fighting ring try to kill me, right. Are you gonna try to kill me? Christos. I don't know. Alright, well, let's just do some sniping. Hope not everybody comes at me. Just a couple people at a time, please. Oh god, there's even people over there. Shit. Okay, this might be too many to handle. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't particularly want to kill them all. I think I'm kind of good on combat for now. I'm just gonna... <sighs> Goodbye. I'm just gonna stay indoors. Okay, just to test this thing out. Hmm. Yeah, so you can use it. You are not strong enough to use this weapon properly. Hit for 22 hit points. So, I, yeah, I still am not quite sure what it does. It's definitely doing something bad. I'm sure it's not worth using. It could be reducing my damage. It could be reducing my accuracy. From this close, though, it was still a 95% chance to hit. To satisfy my curiosity, I'm going to go one more turn. I want to see what my accuracy is from far away. So, single shot. 85%. I mean, this seems okay. Let's see, range 30, range 22. It's got longer range than the combat shotgun. Oops. No. Single normal shot. 95%. Okay, so this... This has a shorter range and yet a higher percent chance to hit. So it probably is a... Uh, it probably is hurting my chance to hit on the other rifle. Which doesn't really seem that important. If that's the only thing it's doing, it's not that bad. But either way, I'm not really a shotgun person, so... Not gonna use it, but pretty cool weapon nonetheless. I'm sure it's worth a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna run the hell out of here. So let's just never go back to Lost Town, ever. Let's go visit the ghouls, tell them that we've 
solve their problem. Is it here? No, it's not here. Um, I think it's this way. Yeah, here we go. I've got no reason to doubt anymore. I've managed to kill Rodriguez and that lackey of his with him. They won't hurt you now. Mimi releases a long breath. You can't imagine how relieved I am right now. I've almost lost any hope of ever escaping Rodriguez's grasp. I can't say enough how grateful I am. I was glad to help. Now we can finally leave. It might seem to you we've lost the reason to do it after Rodriguez's death, but it's more difficult than that. Locals don't want us here anymore, and they've made it very clear. There's no room for Falcon's flight here and set it. We've decided to join one of the caravans. Traveling on our own would be too dangerous. That's why I want to ask one last favor of you. Could you talk to one of the caravan companies into letting us join them? To listen to what you say better than to one of us ghouls, you surely succeed. Yeah, no problem. Predict stream seems pretty nice. Who's that talking? Give you some advice. Is that you? Is that you? Hey. Okay, thanks. Excuse me, you're blocking the way. Thank you. Not sure who that was. Anyway. Yeah, let's go talk to Frederick Stream. I still hope they let me join them on the caravan to Albuquerque, because at this point it's been like a month? They said they would hold it for a day at max, and now it's been like a month. Hey, Freddy! No, it had to leave! Alright, fair enough. Is it possible for other passengers to join a caravan? Of course. Talking about anyone in particular? The ghouls from Falcon's Flight. I see. I expected they might want to leave. The locals have been treating them bad recently. Yes, they can join one of my caravans. Tell them to come see me as soon as possible so we can discuss the details. Thank you. I'll send them right away. So they agreed to let you join. I don't even know how to thank you for all your help. You've saved us. She hands you two gold nuggets. Please, take these. We'll still have enough for the journey and we won't need them where we're going. Thanks, Mimi. Where do you want to go, anyway? One ghoul who stayed with us told me about a strange organization far down to the south. Only ghouls can become its members. I don't know if he spoke the truth. He was in a very bad condition and often talked just nonsense. Killed himself in the end. Maybe he made that whole thing up, but it's the only chance we have. Normals don't want to live with us. Our only hopes that these ghouls will be more friendly to us. Uh, that ghoul. I spoke with him. I have my doubts about that organization. Are you sure you don't want to think about it? If you're wasting your time, you won't change our decision. Besides... There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Maybe you've already heard someone kidnap the sheriff's son. Some people will do anything for a handful of caps. I'd like you to try and locate the kid. It's true I don't like the sheriff very much, but he doesn't deserve something that dreadful. Please, talk to Jeffrey. He could get you to meet the sheriff. Hmm. I thought I was done here and said it, but looks like there's even more. Alright, I'll go see him. Glad to hear that. It's time to say goodbye. Frederick's surely waiting for us already. We'll never forget what you did for us. Hopefully we'll meet again sometime, my friend. Good luck, Mimi. Oh, 
Oh, I'm overloaded. That's why I'm walking so slowly. Ah, the gold nuggets are heavy. Each one weighs five pounds. Carry. I think she's probably close to her limit too. Yeah, I really need to sell my stuff, but I don't think there's really anybody left in this town that has much money. I do need to buy some more ammo though, so I can stop there before I leave. In fact, before we do anything else, let's go get some ammo. Yeah, so I'm thinking that organization far down to the south that only ghouls can join, that's probably the organization that I'm assuming is coming after me. Your organization is probably the people that uh, give that talisman as like a symbol of you joining the organization, I'm guessing. Alright. Let's get my assault rifle back in here. So what does it take again? 5mm, right. Let's see if they have any new fancy weapons. Mostly just stuff I sold them. Nope. Okay, I'm gonna buy all their 5mm. Hollow point, yes please. Please tell me I have armor piercing. Yeah, there we go. Whew, just that one gun's enough. Christ, I really am, I really do feel rich. Let's see, like 600? 51? Yeah. I think that's all I need. I could use stims though, yeah, let's go get some stims. Wait. Oh, they don't- the doctor doesn't actually sell stims. Who sells stims? Who did I buy them from? Not the bar. I don't remember. Maybe the person I got the Geiger counter from? Over here? Salem's? Wait, aren't you a vendor too? Cattle prod? No thanks. I guess I should get some tools just in case. I still... I'm not really sure what that's for, but I feel like it might be important. Okay, you've got some stims. I'll take all your money as well. Alright, what do you want? How much is Psycho worth? Hmm, not as much as I thought. I guess I'll keep one just in case I'm in like a really bad situation. You never know. Similarly, I'll keep one Mentat. And one of these. Want to keep the antidote? Okay, I guess I'll just pay with money for the rest. 365? Wouldn't mind some more, though, if I can get them. Oh yeah, four more. Okay. Let's start selling some of my weapons. How much is this worth? <laughs> it's worth a lot of money. Man. Let's just sell that. Hmm. Still not enough. Well, I mean, it, not enough on their part. I can still do the trade anyway, but let me see if there's anything else. Do you have a little... Oh! 
Again, don't know if a radio is useful, but yeah, let's throw that in there, just in case. Another tool that maybe will come in handy. Hope that stuff isn't too heavy. The tools and the radio. Let's see. Six pounds. One pound. Alright, not too bad. How am I looking on weight? 88 out of 110, so I'm pretty close. I really do need to find other people to sell stuff to. But uh, I think I've pretty much run this down dry. Okay. Let's see what we can do about the Sheriff's Son. I've heard the Sheriff's Son got kidnapped. Is that true? Yeah, he's gone mad. Can't blame him, though. <laughs> oh, fine. I was just curious. <laughs> I could try and find him. Can you arrange a meeting with Carpenter for me? I guess he's not going to listen to you, but it's worth a try. Maybe he'll stop taking the anger out on all of us then. He turns to the cop behind uh, the gate and gives him a signal. The force field turns off soon after that. Jeffrey and you go directly to see the sheriff. Everybody's damn incompetent here. They allowed my own son to be kidnapped, and that good-for-nothing Jeffrey is trying to get, trying to make up for it by bringing me some damn vagabond. Okay, okay, what actually happened? What happened? You want to know what happened? Some bastard kidnapped David, my only son, in broad daylight. That's what happened. He was just playing in the garden, and all of a sudden, he's gone. His nanny was supposed to watch him. That damned woman. I don't believe a word she says... I'll have someone flog her. All those incompetent guards will pay for this. Just take it easy. I'll try to help you. Can't take it easy when I don't know where David is. How can you possibly help me? The whole damn police have said it will go after the kidnappers. It's about time that slacker, Moros, started doing something useful. I'm sure the kidnappers are counting on that. Searching the whole town would be too obvious. Could put your son in danger. With your permission, I would like to try and find David using discreet investigation. Do whatever you want. If you find and save David, I'll make a disgustingly rich woman out of you. But remember one thing. If anything happens to him, and I mean any little thing, you'll wish you've never met me. Is that clear? Sure. You can interrogate anyone you want. I'll tell Jeffrey to let you in at any time. You can also come to inform me if you find out anything. Let the interrogation begin. I think when I was trying to steal the golden nuggets, I actually saw David in this little room here, and there's, I think, a woman with him, so maybe that was the nanny. Hmm. They're not here anymore. Excuse me, Woofer. That's the cook down there. That's the wife. Ooh, who's that? That might be the nanny. That's probably the nanny. Yeah, because David was playing in the yard, right? When were they kidnapped? Like, minutes ago? <laughs> What do you want? Are you David's nanny? Yes. Why? Tell me exactly what happened. I've already told the boss and a few policemen after that. That doesn't matter. Please tell me as well. I don't think this will help to find David, but if you want. David was playing in the garden, as is usually the case that time of day. I was sitting on the bench watching him. Then someone hit me in the head from behind, and I lost consciousness. When I woke up, David was gone. How much did you get paid? What? What are you talking about? Wow, apparently I have just 
cracked the case, I guess. I'm telling you that the kidnappers must have worked with an insider. Someone to tell them where and when they could find David. Someone with access to him. Someone who will let them kidnap him when that person's with him. I can't see any cop doing it because now there are some... Uh, because there are some hot times ahead for all of them. I presume you barely get paid. God knows how Carpenter th treats you and your uh, fainting doesn't sound very convincing. Fine, then, I admit. I didn't want it to happen. They said they'll just kidnap him to get some money from Carpenter. They said they would return him unharmed. Still, I refused. I'm too fond of David, but they threatened to kill me. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, okay, that's alright. We're gonna find him. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It was always them who contacted me. But they said someone be waiting at the Crimson Caravan Brahmin Pens and Little Hub exactly at 11 at night. In case of any troubles, they said. Just there, and precisely at 11, they said they wouldn't wait for long. Okay, Crimson Caravan Brahmin. 11 at night. Okay. Please, please don't tell Mr. Carpenter. He'll surely beat me to death. I honestly didn't want it to happen. I hope David will be alright. Please don't tell him. Well, he's obviously a piece of shit, so no, I won't tell him. Alright, Crimson Caravan, 11 o'clock at night. Could you, uh, let me out now? Oh. Just happens automatically, I guess. Okay. Brahmin pens, which are... Oh, there. <laughs> and I can't rest here. Okay, we shall wiggle around. 11 o'clock at night, 8 in the morning. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it at exactly 11 o'clock. So 11's gonna be 23... Okay, that's a couple hours past. Let's see. Hmm... Yeah, I think I missed him. Okay. There's gotta be a better way to do this, right? I mean, come on. Mm, just a little bit. That is pretty close. That's really close, but it's not quite there. Another, like, 40 minutes. What if I'm here when the time passes, though? Like, will they just magically appear? I don't know. I don't know how time works in this game, honestly. I don't know if time passes when you're just doing stuff, or only when you're traveling. No, fuck. Ah, Christ. Mmm. Probably too late. They probably wait around for an hour. Just out of curiosity, is there, like, an actual quest for this? No? Alright. Surely there's a better way to do this. Should I go back to the casino and just like... That might be the best way to do this, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to the casino basement, because I know I can rest there. <laughs> Dude, just leave! What are you doing? Okay. Let's wait until evening, and then I will wait. Five hours? That should be exactly 11, right? Yeah. Please. 
Please let me go, bartender. Please. I beg you. Please? Is someone actually... Oh. Someone's actually coming after me. Let's get the hell out of here. Ah, so close. See ya. Okay, it is exactly 11 o'clock. What the hell? Where is this person? Does it have to be like the night of? Like after talking with the, the nanny? Oh. This is the person. Hmm. You're waiting for somebody? Why the fuck do you keep talking to me? Leave me alone. He tries to look cool, but he clearly became nervous. As you wish. Step aside and wait for him to leave so you can follow. Okay. If I get too close, am I gonna be seen? I'm gonna save it. go in there, I should probably load up my assault rifle that I bought ammo for, but never actually loaded. Well, I didn't think they'd actually just try to kill me outright. Alright. So where's the sun? Oh, I think they're- yeah, they're blocked by, uh, by Woofer. Hmm. Well, if I burst fire with Woofer so close... Alright, I'm just gonna gain some distance and I'll maybe s Oh, never mind, Woofer moved. Oh, man. They're both standing right in front of these people. Uh, no, let's maybe snipe them. That doesn't sound good. Boy w <gasps> Whoa, boy was... Bay? Boy? Who... Wait... Where? Boy was shot and killed. I didn't see any boy. That's not David, is it? I think... David just died. I don't see where the boy is, though.
Yeah, you shoot the kidnapper in the back. Oh, is that the boy? That's the boy that was killed. Oh, that's not David. Still though, maybe this time I'll maybe in this timeline I'll be able to save the boy. Critically hit for 136 points of damage. Ouch. Should be okay. Yeah. I'll take all. I'm gonna run out of space really quickly, though. Ooh, note. That is probably gonna tell me where David is. A private caravan has arrived without trouble. The boy's okay. When you receive this note, the time has come to wrap it up and set it. Cover your tracks and get out of there as soon as possible. Hmm. Doesn't tell me exactly who did it, but we do know there's a private caravan, so I guess it probably isn't that hard to track down. Could both of you move, please? Thank you. So is there anything in here? <laughs> Some goo on the ground. No, oh, looks like that's it. I feel like I didn't loot someone, though. Is it you? No, I looted you. I feel like I only looted two bodies. Ah, oh, there we go. Really close to running out of space, but not quite yet. Okay, let's go tell the sheriff. I'm afraid he's been transported from the city, probably with one of the caravans. They couldn't have just packed him like that. That caravan was either very well paid, so no one would ask any questions, or one of those damn companies is involved. Everyone who's got anything to do with what's uh, going to do with... <laughs> Everyone who's got anything to do with this is going to suffer. I'll kill a damned member of the council if something happens to my son. Okay, yeah. Let's try to find out more. Okay, so that wasn't the end of it. Yeah, I need to go to the, I guess, individual caravans and ask them, hey. Just just say hey, they'll know, they'll know what I'm asking about. Well, I seriously doubt it's Frederick's dream. They seem too nice, so. I mean, given that the person was waiting at the Crimson Caravan, probably the Crimson Caravan.
Ah, hasn't someone booked a private caravan with you? Recently? No, I know about that. Why? Ah, okay, so it's not them. Alright. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Really hoping it's not Frederick's dream, but let's try the other one first. Oh yeah, I forgot it's nighttime, so you can't really see anything. You know what? While I'm here... Oh. The shop's actually, actually close at night. That makes sense. Did anyone order a private caravan with your company? I can't answer you that. I respect our clients' interests. If they have chosen a private caravan, I guess they wouldn't like the idea of me telling about it to every person who asks. Under normal circumstances, I'd understand this, but it's a bit more complicated this time. There's a suspicion that the transported goods were the sheriff's kidnapped son. Should I report to his father that you're not helping in the investigation? It worked. He gulps nervously. The sheriff's boy, I... Sure, I want to help find him. I think I know which caravan we're talking about. It departed for Albuquerque not long ago. It was the first time I saw the man who ordered it. And I found him very suspicious from word one. I don't know his name, but he left a contact. He said my people can find him at the local caravan lot in Albuquerque. I'm sure you'll find him there. Hopefully he'll lead you to the boy. Thank you. Leveled up, oh yeah. Alright, yeah, so it looks like it's sort of like an extra storyline just to make sure, like they're really strongly nudging me to go to Albuquerque. Because I guess that's just where the game kind of, like the main game progresses there. So do I have a proper quest for that now? Hmm, looks like I don't. Oh well, that's fine. I don't think I need to tell the sheriff about it. Yes, it is perk time! I'm gonna go with the sharpshooter perk. So it gives me a plus two bonus to my perception skill for the purposes of determining range modifiers. So in other words, better chance to hit. Okay, let's get lockpick up to 80. Put a bit more in small guns, a bit more in science, and some into speech. Oh right, I need two points. Well, I guess I'll just save the one skill point then. I think I'm gonna maybe buy some more ammo if they've restocked. Maybe see if I can upgrade my weapon since I've got so much freaking money. Like, I need to actually spend money so I can buy the money back with all the weapons and stuff I have to clear up more room. So, let's see what I can do here. Let's see, can you modify one of my weapons? Desert Eagle? No thanks. My assault rifle. So, for 4,000 caps, I, I can equip yours with an additional magazine that'll considerably extend the capacity. That would be pretty nice. Yeah. Come back in four days. Oh. I gotta come back for it, huh? No, my precious weapon. Alright, well, that's fine. Let's get my money back. Please tell me the money is actually in your inventory. It's not? Oh, the money just literally disappears. Man, that's annoying. Yeah, now I can't buy the money back with goods. Okay, well, do you sell more ammunition? And have you restocked? I don't think so. No. Alright then.
Well, in that case, I guess I'll end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to have my new and improved assault rifle. And then I'm going to either head with a caravan to Albuquerque, if I can hitch a ride there. Since that's where I'm going next, I might as well do that and get paid for it anyway. And if I can't hitch a ride with a caravan, then I'll just head straight there on my own. <laughs>